When I come to prison, I had a construction background. I, I, there was a lot of things I couldn't do. I was a brick and block mason, you know, laid brick and block about all my life. And when they found out I could do that, they offered me to go to a construction line. And that was great, you know, because it's something I wanted to do. But I, not only that, I wanted to learn more. And since I've been in prison, you know, I, now I would, I would be very comfortable doing just about anything in a house. Uh, the other day, we done a sheetrock job. I'd never finished sheetrock in my life till I came to prison. I'm not saying I'm real good at it, but I can, I can do it good enough now that it'll look good when you put paint on it. You won't see no lines in it nowhere. I can, I can do it. I've learned how to do floors. You know, the, I've learned how to do vinyl siding. I've learned how to put roofs on. I never messed with none of that. So, you know, my, my, I had a, like I say, I had a construction background, but my skill set wasn't that high. Now, brick and block, I was good at. I, I could do that, but now I just about don't feel like there's anything on the house that I couldn't do. And that's credited to me being on these work lines for about four years. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. It's a good opportunity for a lot of people. You take somebody that's willing to learn. You don't really have to have a construction background to get on a construction line. You show them that you, that you, want, that you want to learn, you're willing to work, they give you a job out there. You, you start learning things. And I mean, it, there's, there's some people that's in prison that's never had no kind of job that amounts to anything, maybe working at McDonald's or something. And construction pays pretty good. When you hit the street, if you, if you learn a skill in here, it might deter you and keep you away from the things that you was doing before. So, I mean, it's, it's really a good opportunity.